Birdhouse. Written by Emily Madice. Illustrated by Albert Arayas. Opal flits with excitement. It's time for the final contest at Young Carpenter's Camp. She tap tap taps her lucky nut and bolt in her pocket, ready for the challenge. Campers will vote for their favorite birdhouse, Counselor Encino says. Spread your creative wings. Imaginations buzz as campers fly into action. With her eagle eyes, Opal spots glitter and glue, paint and pom-poms, cans and cartons. She tap tap taps her lucky nut and bolt in her pocket as ideas soar through her mind. Damien uses aluminum foil that reflects the morning sun. Rain will pitter-patter off my roof, he says. Opal nods, but she's unsure. Mine will have a creaky, squeaky landing pad, says Mira. Opal's eyes dart to where the cling, clang, jingle, jangle is coming from across the room. Birds will hear my birdhouse's doorbells, Simon says. Sounds fancy, Opal says. It's fun and creative, Damien repeats from the contest poster. Opal wonders if shiny roofs, neon puffballs, and ringing bells make the best birdhouses. She crunches another idea into a ball as her excitement slips. That afternoon, Opal flips through the books that the counselors have left on the table to help with their projects. She twirls her lucky nut and bolt as she learns something new. Hummingbirds are small enough for birdhouses, but they nest on tree branches. Some owls live in barns, but that is too big for Opal to build. Is a barn a birdhouse if a bird lives inside it? She wonders. Ostriches nest right on the ground without any shelter. Is that still a house? Other campers have started building their creations, but Opal is still unsure where to start. <gasps> I'll build a birdhouse for the bird I want outside my cabin window, Opal says to herself. Two pieces of wood for a roof, more for walls, nails, and screws. Bang, whack, whir. She puts the pieces into place. Just right, Opal says. She reaches into her pocket for her lucky nut and bolt, then attaches them as a perch. Her confidence soars. On contest day, Opal is happy as a lark, waiting for the final voting results. She holds her simple and sturdy birdhouse on her lap. When Counselor Encino waves the blue first place ribbon in her hand, Opal sits proud as a peacock. The campers have chosen Damien's fun and creative birdhouse as the winner. Congratulations, says Counselor Encino. Campers squeal, giggle, and clap for him. Opal's heart dives. Tears rim her eyes. Her claps make no sound. Opal flees to the cabin with her spirit clipped but determined. Maybe something will move in, she thinks, and hammers her plain birdhouse to a tree. Nothing buzzes, hisses, or kapows. Nothing glitzes, flickers, or shimmers. Her confidence cages inside her again. I was sure my house was right for a bird, she cries, but it wasn't fun or creative, so I lost. Opal throws her participation ribbon as far as she can. It floats to the ground. A streak of blue whispers by, but Opal doesn't see. A scritch scratch echoes in the woods. Damien gasps, <gasps> look at that, he says. I can't believe it, Simon says. 
A bluebird flies across the yard, grabs Opal's ribbon, then goes inside her birdhouse. <gasps> it worked, Opal says. Which birds moved into your birdhouses? Counselor Encino asks on the final day of camp. Um, no birds even came close to it, Damien says. Mine either, Mira says, shrugging. Um, I don't think they like my doorbells, Simon says. What about your birdhouse, Opal? A blue bird moved in, she says. Her smile beams as campers flock to her. Even though your birdhouse was plain, Simon says. And bland, Damien adds. And didn't make any sounds, says Mira. Opal stands tall. It's just right for a bluebird. The end.